what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so nick castle the original og shape from the original 1978 john carpenter classic film halloween he has confirmed that he will be back to reprise the shape michael myers in the next upcoming entry in this long ongoing saga halloween kills which will be releasing on october 16th of 2020 next year i believe uh the reason i just say halloween kills he put out a tweet that i'm going to leave in the description or in the comment section below uh he put out a tweet saying that he got the word that he's coming back you can't kill the boogeyman that's pretty much the gist of that and he just put up a picture of michael myers escaping a fire and then barbecuing as like to joke about the fact that he survived the fire um uh, the thing about it is we don't know we don't know what capacity how involved he will be i'm assuming it'll be in the same degree of how he was involved with this new movie in this new halloween that came out last year because if you recall james drew courtney was our actual michael myers he was the one that was playing him full time nick castle did a few of the positions that we know is associated with the shape some poses that he made famous upon his initial rep reprisal or portrayal of the shape in the 1978 film uh, so I don't think Nick Castle will be involved heavily. Maybe a few of the walking scenes. Maybe they'll have him do a bit more of those. Uh, I just, I'm really curious. I hope they keep Nick Castle and they somehow manage to get back James Recording. Because now that we know that Nick Castle is coming back to reprise the shape i'm hoping that also means that james drew courtney is in talks or there's been negotiation negotiations to get him back on board with the project as well now i'm hoping that this leads into him being a part of halloween kills and halloween ends because all nick castle's tweet included was him mentioning that he'd be back for halloween kills uh, that doesn't mean that he's not going to be in Halloween Ends, but he hasn't made any mention of that. I'm assuming they just want to go. I'm assuming the approach everyone's taking is one project at a time. So while he's only talking about kills, I think it's safe to assume that he will also be here for Halloween Ends. Because it seemed kind of odd to just have him in negotiations to do one more movie unless they found something else. I mean, it is possible, but I feel like if you're bringing Nick Castle back, why not keep him around for the long haul and wrap up the series with him with Halloween Ends? Uh... I don't think he's really going to be as physical like i said before he is older when the original came out he was much younger uh i think they're going to give this physical role back to james u courtney james u courtney will be our main portrayal of michael that we see and then nick cast will be the, sh the shape that we see off in the distance or doing the little head tilts that we know is synonymous with the michael myers character uh i don't think nick cast will be heavily involved with anything too risky in, in regards to any potential action scenes michael has to get into i just don't see it happening now if he is able to and if he's clear to do that uh, i'm a bit skeptical how that will come across on screen i think we should just keep it with james drew courtney or if you're not gonna have james drew courtney keep in mind how tall james drew courtney was and then find someone that basically resembles james drew courtney because it's gonna look very odd to not have james drew courtney and then have an abrupt height change or significant height difference in between the two portrayals of michael myers i'm glad that nick castle's back he's reuniting with jamie lee curtis he's reuniting with john carpenter again he's reuniting with the whole team that made halloween 2018 possible um i'm excited that they are trying to keep a consistent creative team here a, cons a consistent creative process is something that is what was desperately needed from this franchise each subsequent sequel that came after the original it seemed like there was just always a new set a new team behind it a new everything it was never consistent at all there were all these gaps in between sequels people would write the sequels their writing would not get used new people would write the sequels their writing wouldn't get used until finally someone got settled on um, i'm just glad they're trying to keep this creative team and they're trying to stay consistent because consistency is key is a major aspect of what can make or break your franchise if you're not having any consistency then you're, that's what led to where the series was before you had all these people coming in offering their different takes on it and then having to expand on the mythos of a film they had nothing to do with prior it becomes a bit messy that way so with this since they're being consistent i don't expect them to add any gigantic lore lore to the series uh, don't expect any druids or he's now supernatural and he's under the curse of this or that don't expect any of that they're going to keep it to the basics there's no motive there's no no intent uh it's just an escape mental patient 
back in his hometown looking he's out for blood he's out to kill he's out to do what he does best as michael myers uh i'm glad that nick castle's back let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below how do you feel about nick castle returning to the series are you excited uh are you not excited let me know down in the comment section below also in the description i will leave a link to the tweet and down in the comment section i'll have a link to the tweet as well uh if you haven't already subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video also in the description there will be links to all my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know what movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video